We're hearing all sorts of stuff about famine and shortages, but what has God given us to help us get through these times? Well, guess what he did? He gave us the instructions for blessed grapes. Just one blessed grapes will fill your belly for an entire day. If you believe in your heart that God will do it, he told us make these blessed grapes so we have them in these times. And I'm gonna show you today how to make them so that you have some stored. And if this time comes, you can grab one blessed grape and you only need one for an entire day because God's miracles are that great. So here we go. You look like you're an angel. Oh, oh, I'm ready to start now. Welcome back to Help of Christians. Today we will be showing you how to make blessed grapes. So if you have been following Catholic prophecy for a while, you might have heard of blessed grapes from the prophecies of Marie Julie Jehenny from the early 1900s, late 1800s. Well, again, these blessed grapes have reemerged in the messages given to the seer Luce de Maria. St. Michael and our Holy Mother have mentioned and warned many times that there are some famine, some shortages coming, and to prepare blessed grapes. So I'm gonna show you how we've done it. And uh, it's very, very simple, but I know sometimes it seems kind of contrary to the way that we preserve things in modern times. And uh, it almost seems too simple to be, you know, true. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. So. We're gonna show you how we've done it. And we've had some grapes sitting for a while and here and there I test them out just to make sure that, you know, everything's all good with them. And we've had no issues because this is actually an ancient way that our great grandparents would have preserved things and before that. Um, so it's kind of, like I said, contrary kind of to modern day um, thought process of preserving and everything has to be manufactured a certain way, but this is old school. So here we go. So you're going to take a little bit of this piece right here with, you're going to snip it with a little bit of scissors and snap it from the bridge. So you still have this little tiny bit hanging. So this is how the original instructions given to Marie Julie Jehenny instructed the grapes to be snipped off so we're just following those instructions and what did we do with the first couple we took these to the priest and got them blessed so um, we put them in like a little container and asked the priest our priest to bless them of course he was a little curious what we were doing we tried to uh explain, explain it he never heard of it before but he blessed them anyway so that was great um if you just, you know, basically bring, you could even bring the whole bunch and ask your priest to just bless grapes that you want to eat if you're feeling a little strange about it. Our priest, like I said, never heard of it, but he blessed them anyway. Um, so after you've had your grapes blessed, what are we going to do? We're going to make the sign of the cross with them. So and you have your blessed grape and your grape that's not blessed yet. And then you make the sign of the cross saying the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So you're that easy? crossing on top of the grape, right? Just like that. And you're going to bless every single one of your grapes. So as you bless your grape, you're going to put it into a canning jar. Just like this or, you know, whatever size you choose. What I have here is 12 8 ounce half pint, uh, just can traditional canning jars. And I filled the grapes up, uh, probably, you know, giving it a little headway from the top, because then after you've had your grapes, your blessed grapes put in here, you're gonna wanna take good, very good brand brandy. So this one is the Christian Brothers, brandy, but any good quality brandy, 
You because want, we're Christians. That's what we need it. We want to submerge your grapes in. So you want your, your grapes to be covered by the brandy. That, again, is the a very traditional way of preserving things. Contrary to our modern day mindset, um, our, our great grandparents would have, and before that would have preserved lots of different things in a uh, good quality alcohol like this. And this will, is a natural way to preserve. And this will last for a long time. So um, just for uh, the caveat's sake, I'm gonna say I am not an expert and please consult the experts, but this is how the prophecies have told us to do it. And so I have done it just how heaven has told us to. And again, I've tasted them after a couple months just out of curiosity and there was no issue whatsoever. So um, there's also, it's also been said in um, Luce de Maria Bonilla's messages from heaven that if for some reason you can't get grapes, you can use any small fruit that you can get your hands on. So I know we're cutting these grapes and leaving this little stem on, but if you're getting, you know, peaches, let's say, peaches and brandy are delicious, um, you would obviously slice the peaches and, and bless each slice as you put it in your container. So that wouldn't have a stem on it. So I think that um, this is very forgiving. I think if you have one that the stem pops off, I, I think it's still gonna work for you. So don't be stressed out about that. Um, so I filled these up, like I said, I think in these little half pint jars, I have probably 12 grapes. And then again, I filled the top up with brandy. You know, I make sure that it's covering all the fruit. And then I put, you know, my air si airtight seal here and it'll just stay like this for a long time. So that one bottle of brandy filled 12 of those little half pint jars. So just to give you an idea of how far that one bottle will go. 12 half pint jars that only need enough to cover the grapes, one bottle will work with. And that is it. Um, if you have any questions, if you've done this preserving and want to give any hip, uh, tips or hints or just some insight, please leave it in the comment box below. Hit the like and subscribe and the notification mm -hmm. bell. Let's be helpful Christians together. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.